Oniwe Kamaru, he's a 5 stars hero with Ice Element and Monk class, defensive hero class. According to his base stats, he has pretty high base stats and is good at defense and vitality. First skill effect, the caster gets taunt that prevents enemies from using special skill on the caster's allies for 3 turns. This effect can't be dispelled. The same as the effect of taunt in general, usually taunt heroes have an average mana speed or even slow. But only way Kamaru can use his taunt on the first charge, or arguably faster than other taunt heroes. Second skill effect, the caster counterattacks with 24% up to 116% of the damage received for 3 turns. Oniwe Kamaru's counterattack effects are different for each mana charge, however, his counterattacks are very much in line with his taunt abilities, which can make him indirectly able to deal additional damage to enemies while increasing the survivability of his allies. Attack score, A+, based on Oniwe Kamaru's basic stats and the special skill effects he had, he is quite a strong taunt hero as well as his counterattack effect making him a good passive attack hero. Overall defense, A+, without a doubt, judging from Oniwe Kamaru's class and basic stats, he is very durable and has the ability to survive longer in battle, so the tank and flank positions are his best positions. Titan score, B+, in Titan attacks, a deadly combination is needed in order to provide the highest attack score. The combinations needed are, elemental defense down, defense debuff, attack buff, high tile damage, and attack stack, because Oniwe Kamaru doesn't have any of the abilities needed to defeat Titan, making him not very suitable to be in a Titan attack team. Raid Tournaments, A+, Oniwe Kamaru is very suitable for use in various types of tournaments, due to class, basic stats, and special abilities that can increase the chances of survival of his allies, plus he also can provide additional damage in battle. His overall grading is A+. Conclusion, Oniwe Kamaru is an all-rounder type hero, where he has basic stats that are very inclined towards defense, but still has the ability to attack indirectly, so at the same time he can attack enemies and protect his allies, plus, when used in an attack formation, he can cast on effect on first charge or fast mana. In my opinion, he is a pretty tough and sturdy hero, if indeed there is no significant change in this hero's ability, then he is a must-have hero.